Just because waiters wear masks when serving meals and drinks doesn't mean they're all following protocol off-duty. A COVID cluster in Cape Cod happened at a house party for restaurant workers. The indication were there was somewhere between 30 and 50 people present, um, and they were not wearing masks and they were not socially distancing. It's true that California now leads the pack in COVID-19 cases, moving ahead of New York and now Florida, which also have more than 400,000. Look at how the Florida cases have spiked since June 1st. The nation's COVID-19 deaths surpassed 1,000 for three straight days now. It's not true that there is no COVID threat to children at this point. An eight-year-old New York City boy named Jaden was sick for two weeks with multi-system inflammatory syndrome. I was there shaking, Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. Jaden got better, but seven children in Colorado recently got sick with the syndrome and two of them died. This is something unique to children usually young children under the age of 10. It's true that COVID-19 has interrupted vital immunizations around the globe. A report from the World Health Organization and UNICEF found nearly 20 million children were under vaccinated this year. 50% of those children live in Africa. India now has 49,000 new COVID cases, and the efforts to curb the spread are obvious at airports where luggage is being sprayed with disinfectant. Meantime, Spain is trying to encourage tourism after a terrible spring in Europe. What I would tell anyone considering traveling to Spain is that Spain is a safe country. But U.S. citizens shouldn't bother looking for plane tickets because we're still not allowed to travel in Europe. That's because the United States is beating back a surge in COVID-19 cases. More than 4 million infections have been tallied here, and the CDC says it could be 10 times higher than that. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.